Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. We're gonna to go to an antique mall. Now this one's in Virginia Beach. It's called Barrett Street Antiques and it is huge. Now I've been here before and the prices are quite high so I don't know if we'll purchase anything. But if anything, we'll learn something new and look around at everything. If there's anything that you see that you think that you might like and you'd like me to come back for it, just let me know and I'll be happy to do that. Okay, let's check this booth. They say it's 20% off. Let's see what they have in here. That plate is really cute. 18. in Portugal. It's really pretty. But that's not enough off of it. Yeah, a little over three dollars. It'd probably be fourteen something. Okay. She doesn't really have a whole lot of like clutch purse for it. That's a cute little purse. I don't know what you would use it for. Maybe with a keychain or something. Let's see what's over here in the cabinet. There's a child set. Futures Potter Bunny Ken's Bowl and Plate set twelve dollars. Hmm. That's twenty percent off. Two fifty about be like nine. Oh, I can't. There's a wall there. Let's see if I can get in this way. Oh, I don't want to knock anything off. It's a roll, Dalton. It's in great shape. Well, I might grab that for that. That's cute. Look how cute that is. Thirty-two. Mm. This is cute. Let me look at that a little better. Okay, I went ahead and took them up front, but I got the two purses, the beaded one and the black one. The black one is just so cute. It's got um, a little coin purse that matches it inside. And then I got the Bunnykins um, bowl and plate. So, I didn't think we'd buy anything here, but oh well, we are. Here's some other purses, but. Hmm. They look, yeah. There's a lot of purses here when I came before, so we'll see some more. Okay, probably have to do a voiceover because the music is too loud. That's pretty. 28. Hmm. Okay, 
can't tell if that's broken or not, but that's cute. Okay, there's jewelry over here. I'm gonna look at the jewelry. That's pretty. It's real. I'm sure there's a chain in the back where you can make it bigger. 38. That's pretty though. Anything shiny, very attracted to it. I love all the um, custom jewelry from back then. I've got several pieces at home, but look at this. This is art glass. It's a hat. I don't want to pick it up. What does it say? Millie for, okay. Hand blown art glass, ladies hat, $42. That's really cool. What do you, what was that, 34 for that? Now this booth does not have a cell. Okay, I'm gonna have to jump back and forth from a voiceover to a non-voiceover because the music was really loud in here. But I found another child's bowl and this is Roll Albert. Again, it's Beatrix Potter. But they wanted 14 for the bowl. It is nicer probably than the Royal Dalton. I'm not sure which one. I haven't looked them up yet to see which one's worth more. And then they ha had the matching plate and that was 14 as well. They wanted 14 for each of them. And then they also had a little creamer there that matched. And that was Wedgwood. And they wanted 22 for that. Well, that one's, yeah, that's got Peter Rabbit on it. Famous last words. Now, I saw the statue and I liked it for a second. And then I noticed how weird or how small her head is and her torso, upper torso, is to the rest of her body. So I decided that I didn't really like it after all. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just standing there talking about that. How kind of bizarre she looks. Okay, we're going to come in here, but it's a little dark. Those are just hankies, like sets of hankies. But I don't know what's in this basket closer to me. Some purses back here. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. My handle. Let's see how much it is. I can't buy a bunch of purses. 18. That one's cute. It's not as cute. I guess I need to put the camera up higher. That one's 18. So I think they're both 18. This one's really cute. The brown one. Look at that handle. I like that a lot. She had more purses here. That one's 16. Look how beautiful that, oh my God. Look at this, like, looks like selenite, sel what is it, handles, but look at that. Let me see if there's a tag in there. Make sure it's not something modern. I wanna scratch the handles. We have to pull this out. Okay, I'll hold it for a second. What's this one down here? Oh, I saw this one before. So this is alligator, it's 24. The handle's really beaten up and it is very, very, very cute. But just the fact, and alligator's long, long passed on by now. The rest of the purse is in pretty good shape. Love the design, but that handle is not. Okay, let me pull this other one out. I'm gonna look at it closer and get out of this little closet. Okay, so as I go back out in the room, the music's loud again. And I wanted to really look at this purse because it is a very cute, it's got like two different, it's got like an outside 
um, section and then inside. And when I, I'm, I'm saying that the snap looks modern and it is a magnetic snap. So I'm thinking that it probably isn't that old, but I had to lay down the camera to finish. But isn't that cute? That's the insert and it's got little plastic snaps. So those look modern too. Um, and then the outer side snaps on. So I don't know if you could use the inside alone, if that's what the design is, if that's what, why it's like that. You can also take the handles off. I don't really know, but it's made so well and it's really, really cute. So I really, really like it. Okay, again, the music's really loud. This is Fitz and Floyd. I forgot what she's called, but I was just looking just to kind of look and see what everything was. And then I really like that cookie jar. I've never seen one like it. Now it could be more modern. I didn't pick it up to look at it and it looks like maybe it is, but there's a little chicken, little casserole dish. And then I've always, I've seen this set in there for a while now. It's called Robin's Nest, I think. But it's kind of strange because the pieces don't look like, like they really go together. But it's all labeled that way. But anyway. So I decided to get the purse. I thought it was really cute. Okay, so I'm looking around at the other items in this room, and I always see these Toby mugs. I see them everywhere, and I always think they're reproduction. I really have never asked to look at them, because you see them everywhere. There's so many. But that one was Occupied Japan. And uh, she had another one there that I'm going to point at here a smaller one that one's occupied japan as well and so was this little donkey and cart and i was really considering getting that because it was 12 dollars. but i decided to think about it and maybe come back in the end and i didn't go back but i'm sure it's probably still there if anyone's interested in it let me know and i'll be happy to go back and get it but he was really cute So that's about it for the room. I kind of looked around. This is a really big room. I just don't understand why they don't use more of the space in it. And then I decided to head out. Okay, I'm trying to stay away from people. There are a lot of people in here. Um, now I'm right in front of a fan. Look how spooky that looks. Wow. I wonder what's so great about it. I mean, I, I really am drawn to it, but at the same time, it's a photo out of focus. I like how they, um, I like how they framed it. Maybe I should take some photos of old houses, but having them in focus. Okay, so these are Limoges, I think, because there's two more over there. Those are really pretty. This is a set of Four Seasons Limoges pla Edition plates, $150. Oh, big news. Okay. Hmm. What is this? This looks really cute. Oh, that guy's gonna fall when I... Let me put that up. Okay. What is this? Spaniel, shepherd's dog. Oh, what is it? A genealogical table of the different something of dogs. $19.99. 
95. Yeah. I have a cattle dog. So the shepherd's dog is this Cala brand dog or something. That's very, very tempting, but not at that price. It's one of those old encyclopedia pages. That chandelier. Wow, a lot of stuff on the ground here. Maybe they're moving around. Look at that little shelf with that deer. That's cute. Looks like, almost like, reminds me of a cuckoo clock, but ooh, that's, I don't know, that thing's really, oh, it's, well, I don't know. How is that supposed to go on the wall? I don't know. I'm sure they got a pretty price on it. Um, 85 carved deer wall shelf. Oh, I guess you would look up at the design. That's why it's not on this side. It is really cute, but it's probably Black Forest or something. Okay, this is out of our price range. Okay. Here is a Fenton Cranberry Diamond Obsolescent vase for 67. It's pretty. Here's another cookie jar. That one's 47. This looks like Amberina. It's a little elephant. He's really cute, but they want quite a bit for him. They want 25 for him. See, they want 33 for this Prussia, or this Prussia bowl. Just comparing it to the thrift store that I go to where they have, seems like they have a lot of these bowls. Let me see if this one's marked. Yes. Okay. But no one's bought it, so we don't know what someone would pay for it, but they're asking 33. This is cute. Villeroy and Bach, MCM Scarlet Platter. I can't read the rest of that. Look at this, this is cute. Deco Cornet Wire Biscuit Jar, $77. Okay. Oh, we missed one. Let's come through here real quick. Oh yeah, I think we probably won't stay very long. This is a lot of like iron pieces and not really glassware. This is pretty. $79 for a jewelry box. Ooh, this one's scary looking. That looks like... Mmm. Reminds me of a coffin. This is a cute little purse. 10. Now oh, that is old. It's in great shape, but... I don't know. I don't know what color it used to be. Did it always... Was it always this color? In Japan. Something, handbag, it's definitely vintage, I don't know, it's 10, which just sounds like a great price, I don't see any damage, it's super heavy, but we will wait, well, I don't know, what do you think, 10, I'll come back, at least I'll have it on video and I'll remember where it was if I forget to come back. Okay. 
Yeah, let's get out of here. Okay. We gotta be picky. Let's look in here. I didn't get to look in here before because the owner was here and she was rearranging. Look at that. Not the, not the, not the roses. I want to see the platter. She should take those off. Oh, look how cute. Bunny platter. And in Portugal. I don't think it's old. It's like Majelica, but yeah, it doesn't. If it had an older mark, I'd definitely grab that. Okay, look at the little cabbage or lettuce. So cute. Little radishes or something. Really cute. Okay, let's see what they have over here. These are interesting. This looks like Fenton, 62. There's a couple of purses. I don't really care for these, 38. They are cute. Oh. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 4250. Oh, well, here. Yeah. Okay. Are those bookends? I want to see the dogs. I'm gonna have to break this up into several videos. Okay, 42. Oh, look how cute they are. Oh, that one's had an accident. They're on the corner. Forty-two. They are cute, but that one's definitely got a big chip out of it right here. Blue. I'm thinking you guys can all see the prices here for some of this stuff. What is this? Vintage style frame. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what's over here. That's a cute little bird, but. Let me see if I can shut that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some vases, they look like McCoy or Roseville or yeah, McCoy. Oh, it's just white. Let's see what they have, just so we can, 79? Hmm. This one, 24. USA mold 819. Hickory Dickory Duck. $79 for that. The mouse one of the clock. Baby's plate. That one's $39. I don't know what that one says. Is that guy have a gun? Sticks. I feel like they have guns. That would be Hark Hark the Dog Do Bark. The beggars have come to town. This antique mall is so That's huge that we're going to have to end it here. Destroy. And pick it back up. I'm going to okay. have to split this into several videos. But we're only like maybe a fourth of the way through it. Not even that. Okay. See you soon. Here's a cute box. Sand Landwire, pen dish and trays. There's trays? Oh. 
27. I don't want to rock. Uh, I'm not going to flip it over. I saw that. Okay. Scary clown. I'm staying away from the clown. Ugh. Shawnee clown, 17. Yeah, no. No clowns for me. Oh, look at the bunny. Okay. Can I open this? Look at the vases. I'm sure they're all going to have a pretty price. And I'm sure the bunny, he's Murano. 97. Let's look at the bottom. Just so we can get, since he has his tag. There's a vase too. There is no bottom. Where are they blowing from? I guess from the tail? I don't know. He is cute. 97. Do they have a percentage off here? No. Still at that price. Okay, let's look at this little vase. Vase, they want 97 as well. Wow, the bunny's so much cuter. Look at this. This is pretty. Nineteen fifties glass centerpiece Murano, one hundred and seventy seven dollars. Wow. Okay, remember that at the thrift store. Let's look at these. Uh, this is forty four. This one's really pretty. This one probably glows. 135. Murano fish. There was a fish at the thrift store yesterday. This one's 23. I did not get it because I'm not really crazy about the fish. But maybe I'll look at them next time. I don't know how much they wanted for them. The bunny and the owl. The owl is 22. The bunny is 22. Look, that's probably, what is this one? This one's 18, that's cute. See, I don't like that. But at 18. Okay. At this rate, we're gonna need every camera battery we have. How much is the kitty? He is cute. 37, we're all done. I, I don't know. I think that's still a little high for resale. Okay. We know where he is. These look like, I mean, they're so thin. They're like eggshell thin. These are bleak. This is a, a snail. It's 22. I don't know what that one's supposed to be. They're just like eggshell. 22. And then this one's just a little picture. It's probably 22 too. Yeah. Okay. I love that. That's a lot though. Found another cat down at the bottom, but I put them together. He's called Beeswick Cat and he is 33. And look at him. He is marked. He doesn't have like the texture of the hair like this one does. But look at this. I guess maybe he's a knockoff of the Royal Dalton. But anyway, they're both cute. It's still too high. 